Hello friends, the objective of today's tutorial is to write a program to add two numbers. So let's start. So let's consider two numbers. Let's say the first number is 50 and let's say the second number is 23. And uh, we know that the final answer of addition will be 73. Now before we uh, talk about C programming, let's understand how we perform addition. Right. So once I say uh, the very first number is 50, you will store this particular number somewhere inside your mind. right? And the same is true with the second number. right? First you will store these two numbers in your mind and since you have non-negative IQ, you will be able to perform this basic arithmetic addition and then you will store this final result also in somewhere in your mind and then you will speak it that the addition of these two numbers is 73. Now we will try to mimic the same thing in C programming, right? So in C, uh, once I say that the first number is 50, the very first thing which we need to do is to store this particular number, right? So therefore, in them, we need to assign some memory, right? for this particular purpose and uh, the purpose is to store the very first number let's say number one the same thing which we need to do with the second number also let's say number two and the final answer of summation let's say is stored in number three so this is the purpose here that uh, with respect to given numbers assign memory in assign memory to those numbers in them. So now how to do this? That is the next question, right? So there are two aspects here. The very first aspect is how much memory will be sufficient for a number. So let's say if I if I if I tell you to consider this number 50 versus this number, then definitely one can imagine that the this particular number, real number, will take more memory as compared to the standard integer, right? And second thing is, let's say you have al uh, already assigned memory, then the uh, that is not uh, the only thing which is required because somewhere in the future, we, we also need to uh, re-access that particular location so that we can print our final answer, right? So therefore, there is a concept of variable, right? So what is the idea of variable? Variable is nothing but uh, they are names to memory location. Right, so, so once I say, let's say variable A, that means I A is, uh, it's nothing but it's a location, uh, location name for a memory, right, uh, which is reserved for a particular purpose, right. So let, let me, let me talk specifically now. So let's say uh, I, 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 I write like this integer A. So what is the meaning of this? So the this is nothing but the name of the variable right so once this particular statement is executed then depending upon uh, compiler right so if you are using windows system then generally four bytes will be allocated to variable whose name is nothing but a right and uh, this particular word int is called data type right so there are other data types also like float care void we'll talk about them in future so for this particular program only this much information is enough that uh, since we are our numbers are nothing but uh, integers we, need, we we can consider this int data type and we can write like this int a semicolon so after uh, completion of this statement four bytes memory will be allocated uh, for a specific purpose and the name of that particular memory location will be A, right? Currently, there is no, uh, we, we haven't assigned any value here. So, the there will be some uh, pre previous values may be present in this particular location and it's called garbage value. So, what we need to do? Uh, we can write like this, integer A50. So, now what will happen? This location will be 50 filled with this particular value 50 right so now uh, before we go further there are some rules uh, which we need to follow while we are giving names to variables right so let's let's understand them so for example 
if I write like this integer integer then this is not valid because integer itself is a uh, keyword right and you can't assign uh, key, uh, keyword or reserved word as variable name that is the first two right. So there are 32 uh, keywords in C uh, the list is here so you can't assign any of this name as a variable name this is the first rule the second rule is only characters which are allowed so the first rule is no keywords right so keywords are not allowed right second rule is only you you can use either letter or digit or underscore right other other symbols are not allowed for example you can't include plus as your uh, variable name right you can't include percentage as your variable name and so on third rule is the very first symbol right so first symbol right must be letter or underscore you can't start your variable name with digits so for example if i write like this integer 9 uh, a then it's invalid because you are starting with 9 which is not allowed right so this rules you need to keep in your mind when whenever you are talking about uh, variables right so so try to give meaningful names okay so let's now again let's uh, come back to our original objective our objective is to add two numbers and let's say my first number is 50 my second number is 23 and i i want to add these two numbers and get this as my answer so the very first thing which i need to do is i need to assign space right i need to allocate space in them for these three numbers so let's do it by writing it down formally so first we can do like this integer a integer b integer c so now i have assigned space in memory to this three variables I, I have declared them this is called declaration statement data declaration statement right but now uh, I, I, uh, this is of no use because currently uh, a doesn't have any value b doesn't have any value c doesn't have any value so we must assign some values so instead of doing like this what we should do is we should also assign values simultaneously so what we can do integer a is 50 b is uh, 23 and C doesn't have val any value so far right so it will be like this 50 23 fine and now we will say in C we want A plus B so assign A plus B to C right so after this particular statement 73 will come here but we are not done yet because uh, this addition is performed but what is the use of it if we can't print it right so somehow we need to use printf here one more time but uh, if, I, if i write like this then on the output screen c will appear right but i don't want c i am interested in value of c so for that particular purpose there is a concept of format specifier right so what what is format specifier there are several format specifiers like percentage d percentage f percentage c depending upon which uh, de depending upon your variable time you need to use uh, this format specifier so here since i am using integer type of data i need to use percentage d right so what i can write here i i can write like this instead of this i can write like this printf percentage d and then i need to mention which value i want to print right so with a variable whose value i want to print that i need to mention now right so i can write c here right and that's it i'm done so this this is the main portion of my program inside main i need to write down these three instructions and then i'm done so here again the uh, the ordering is very much important if i start with this c is equal to a plus b and then if i define a b c then it's of no use because then the compiler won't assign memory to them and it's directly trying to execute this particular statement so you will get an error statement in other words what i'm trying to say here is data declaration statement must come before your control statements right so all other statements are control statement this is nothing but your data declaration statement so first you need need to declare variable then only you can perform operations for them right so that that makes sense right so first you need to declare abc then then you can perform operations on them right so in in summary what i want to highlight here uh, the program is very easy but uh, what i want to highlight here is you need to make sure that you understand variables properly so once again i i, uh, I want to highlight that uh, variables are nothing but they are named to memory locations and their 
basically in this particular program we are using them for two purposes the first purpose is we are assigning some values to variable and the second purpose is uh, we we are also printing the values of uh, variable on our screen right so that is the use of this printf function so now let's quickly see our code right so this is the code and let's check whether whether we are getting the correct answer or not as you can see the answer is 73 but uh, again so uh, let's let's be specific so instead of printing the final answer let's print that uh, sum is uh, let me more specific sum of a and b is uh, or whatever our answer is that right 73 so let's check right so sum of a and b is 73 now let's make it more concrete instead of a and b let's say i want to print values of a and b so what i can do instead of a i can write percentage d instead of b i can write percentage d and now i need to mention three variables instead of one a b and c so now let's check So as you can see now sum of 50 and 23 is 73 okay so uh, in the in the next tutorial we will see how to make this particular program user friendly so here we are giving this values let's say a is equal to 50 b is equal to 23 so this particular addition program will work only for these two values right but uh, it should not be our objective our objective should be generic so let's say if user wants to add any other two values then uh, how to how to add them so that is the purpose of next lecture we will achieve this objective by with the use of uh, scanner function right and also i want to highlight one more uh, thing here that uh, this uh, variables are useless if we don't assign values to them right so for example you as you can see here uh, we have assigned 50 to a uh, 23 to b and c has a 73 value right so if, if we don't assign any data to variables then they are uh, useless so thank you, subscribe to my channel for more videos.